Hello everybody, welcome to the card for Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Drew Ventura and in the booth with me is Gorilla Mezzo. Hello. Hello everyone, we've got three Stand Firms left before money in the ass. That's right, the coveted briefcase that has the money that goes right up Mr. Jim McMahon's ass and gets you a title shot in the old pay-to-win competition that is the JFW. And tonight, eight more men are going to be vying for a spot in the Money in the Ass match. Of course, last week we saw the Waitrix, the first person to qualify. And folks, Stan Firm has four slots in the Money in the Ass match. Claw will also have four slots. Volcayo on Monday qualified from Claw. Who's going to be next? Look at this cast of characters. Skirmetso, Fault Force, Cocky Try, and Satterfield, Mora Plovach, Calcium, and Humorous Chimp. Humorous Chimp coming out of the Plim Plom Plusers to try and get involved with the big boys. This is going to be wild. Eight-man battle royale over the top. The only way to get eliminated. Glorious. And then next up, the winner, three, five wheats are continuing on. Two-thirds of them, at least, of course. Skurrow in the previous match. Tonight, we've got Johnny Five and Le Bread Mask, Le Plim Plom Plou himself, against two-thirds of Norse country, of course, of Mora Plovach is also in that opening match. We've got Thaw, your man, in the main event of Money in the Ass already. And his tag partner, Space Cadet, of course, the winner, three, five weeks last week, fell short against legendary tag team CBT. Can they get a tag win tonight? And then here you go, folks, the in-ring return, finally, in-ring return of Tren. Bit of a tune-up match here against Sheila. Sheila, more of a manager than an in-ring competitor, but, you know, we like to give everyone an option, uh, you know, to get in-ring, manage however they want with the largest women's roster in professional wrestling. It's a crowded field, and Sheila came up first. Yep. And then it is Finally time, everyone. The Marcel McDaniels return open challenge. We've been waiting weeks. We've been saving it and saving it to do it right. And tonight is finally, probably, definitely, maybe going to be the time. Who is going to answer the open challenge of Marcel McDaniels? Oh, baby. Can't wait to see that one. Ah, oh, so good. And then here's one straight from me, straight from... The commissioner's office, Frost Lord Army, absolutely wrecking Dimmy G last week backstage when he was headed out to a match against JBG and then put himself in the match against JBG and absolutely trounced JBG. Of course, the champ himself, a little caught off foot expecting Dimmy, got the much bigger, much more potent Frost Lord Army. So now, you know what, Frosty, you want to fight everyone? You get to fight them both at once in a handicap match, two on one. Dimmy G, JBG against Frost Lord Army. Four. And then finally, this one here, special request by Moradam, said he wants to be a fighting champ. He did prove everything he needed to prove about uh, about him being the top-notch Plim Plom Pluserweight champion that he says he is. And last week, Z Talk the Dane shocked the world once by winning a four-way extreme elimination match, the staple of the Plim Plom Pluserweight division. So he's the next man up. And Moradam, I don't know, maybe he smells blood in the water, sees a guy who got lucky once and does not think lightning can strike twice anyway he's wagering his title tonight in the main again event against z talk the dane that should be something absolutely glorious yep thank you very much gorilla amazing as always thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic